Hey Fred, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services and one thing about living in a travel trailer full time is ventilation. You know, you wake up uh, in the morning, in the winter time and you know, there's there's condensation on the inside of the window so you want to get some airflow. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing these max air ventilation uh, systems here uh, over the air vents in my trailer. So I'm going to put a link where you can purchase these on Amazon in the description below. Uh, but I got three of these to install so we're going to go ahead and walk you through exactly how to install these if you don't know much about these these basically allow you to keep these roof vents open rain or shine because basically this sits on your roof and your vent opens up this way so that when it when it rains obviously the rain just pours off and it doesn't come into your trailer but it also has these cool louvers in the back where it allows ventilation to get inside of your trailer so basically it kind of just circulates rain or shine so we're going to go ahead and get started here installing these puppies i'm going to take you guys along with me show you step by step how to do it so let's get started all right for starters you're going to want to uh, place your uh, new vent cover over uh, where it's supposed to go and then you're going to want to trace out obviously get it centered um you know move front to back side to side and kind of feel what center feels like um, and then go ahead and trace out the the holes on that go to the roof basically and you're gonna use these to basically mark the position um, of your L brackets that you're gonna be using to uh, mount to the, uh, the old bent hood there. So you're gonna to wanna to mark all four of those. Uh, there's, two, there's two holes each, so you're just gonna mark both of them because you might end up using one or the other. And then you're gonna to wanna to use the one that's closest to the corner of the vent. Um, so there I am just basically putting the L bracket on the uh, mark that I marked on the roof and then marking a mark on the uh, vent cover there and you're going to want to mark those and then the next step is to drill a, uh, a 3 16 hole um, right at that mark that you made uh, through each uh, corner of the, of the vent hood. And you're going to want to obviously do the same thing on the other side mark those and then drill them and then your next step is to put your L brackets on there you're gonna have a carriage bolt uh, that will go up through the bottom of these L brackets and then there will be a uh, basically a Phillips head um, bolt with uh, a washer and a lock washer and a nut on the other side you want to do that and for this it's it's a lot easier to open up your vents uh, all the way so that you have uh, extra room in there to get your hands in there and put your put your nuts on tighten everything up now these don't need to be super tight but obviously you want to get them as tight as you can just so the thing doesn't fall off but basically this is the whole structure and what holds the new max air vent cover to the vent of the RV it's basically just holding through the side of the vent cover so that's how they are so they're not mounted to the roof or anything like that because obviously you don't want to put any holes in the roof or anything there uh, so it's actually fairly simple. It comes with really uh, detailed instructions that you can find as well. Um, and if you are looking to purchase these Max Air units, um, I have a link in the description below where you can purchase them. They are found on Amazon, uh, very inexpensive. I would highly recommend you check that out. And the next step is put your vent um, on your L brackets, making sure that your carriage bolts line up with the holes uh, in the Max Air unit. And then once you get that lined up, obviously you want to make sure that your vents uh, continue to open and close before you, you know, tighten them down. But if they don't, you can move them after the fact. That's not really a big deal. So you're going to want to get them over. Uh, you're going to want to put your nuts on those carriage bolts and go ahead and tighten them down. go I figured it all out that it's uh, in a good position so I'm gonna go ahead and put those nuts on and tighten everything down so that they hold firmly and obviously here you want the louvers on the max air unit facing the back of the RV um, they're kind of tapered in that direction so that you know when you're driving down the road you know they're aerodynamic and all things like that so all four corners as uh, washers and nuts as well and then you basically want to repeat this whole uh, this whole system on every other Max Air unit that you're going to be installing on your RV travel trailer. Um, on this one, I have I have two more, so a total of three Max Air units that I'm installing. Um, and I went ahead and I'm doing basically everything 
uh, in stages. So, you know, I, I drilled all my holes on both of the vents, and now I'm going to install on the first one, and then go ahead and install on the second one. And through this, it's really nice to have someone down below that's moving the vent up and down whenever you need it. You know, when you're putting the nut there, it's nice to have the vent completely open so that you can access that. And it's nice to have someone make sure that it completely moves. Okay, here is our Max Air covers here. Turned out pretty nice. Had my wife down below, made sure that we could still open up the vent, that it was in the right position. So they're on there. And if you guys are curious about this tape or what we did to this roof, because we've retaped all the seams of this roof, repainted the roof, watch our other videos uh, that are in this to be debt free RV journey. I will link that up here so you could take a look at that. But let's go down inside the RV and see how they look from the inside. Here we are on the inside, and this is actually the bathroom. I tried to replace that bathroom vent fan. We had a new fan blade, but it was the wrong bore size. So I found the right bore size order on Amazon. So you can see there, there's those little louvers that I was telling you about. So this thing completely closes and then, uh, and then opens up. So really we can leave it like this all the time. And it's really nice because it's completely centered and the other thing I really like about this thing is it makes a cover over this. So even if these are cracked or brittled, these covers here, um, or you know the vent, the vent hood, is our new Max Airs completely cover it. So it's it's completely waterproof now. So that's pretty exciting. So, all right, we got those Max Air installed. We got three of them installed. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell icon. Make sure you hit that so that YouTube knows to notify you every time I release a video. There's tons more RV videos on this uh, on this YouTube channel. Uh, check out the playlist here. It's called To Be Debt Free. This is our To Be Debt Free journey here moving from a full house into a travel trailer. So uh, you could check out our whole journey there. Pretty awesome. So we got all of these, uh, these vents installed. I appreciate each and every one of you checking us out. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.